My name is David Madison, the 18th of March, 2020. I was a Methodist minister for nine years. I have a graduate degree in theology and a PhD in biblical studies. But I left all that behind because the weight of evidence against Christianity now is overwhelming. Beyond any reasonable doubt, it has been falsified. In my book, I describe 10 of the tough problems that cancel the faith. In this series of videos, Christianity 10 Knockout Punches, I offer a quick tour of them all. This is episode six. So what about the Jesus character at the center of Christianity? Some scholars argue that Jesus never existed. This usually is greeted with outrage and scorn among Christians. But could they name even three of the issues that prompt suspicion that Jesus was a fictional character? How about doing some homework? Get the perspective of scholars who are not emotionally invested in Jesus. One of the top scholars, Richard Carrier, wrote on the historicity of Jesus, why we might have reason for doubt. That's 600 pages of homework. David Fitzgerald wrote a three-volume work, Jesus, Mything in Action. Yes, mything. Study the issues. However, the sixth knockout punch for Christianity is not that Jesus didn't exist. Rather, pay careful attention. This is punch number six. Verifiable information about Jesus does not exist. Please approach the Gospels as historians do. When we do this, we know we don't have verifiable information. Mark is the earliest gospel written some 40 years after the events depicted. Matthew, Luke, and John followed in that order, with John being written some 70 or 80 years later. Historians want to know where did they get their information? What kind of research did they do? Here's an example of how that works. Lincoln gave the Gettysburg Address on the 19th of November, 1863. What exactly happened on that day? To find out, historians read diaries, letters, newspaper accounts written at the time. They check out the White House archives. That's how they research and write history. That's how they verify what happened. Nothing like that exists for Jesus, nothing at all. There's no hint whatever where the gospel authors got their information. Jesus reports that Mark reports that Jesus was baptized by John. We have no way to verify that. No letters, no diaries, no newspaper accounts to back it up. What about Jesus glowing on a mountaintop, talking with Elijah and Moses? What about Jesus transferring demons into pigs? Which brings us to a huge hurdle. There is so much superstition, folklore, fantasy, and magical thinking in the Gospels such as Jesus glowing and talking to demons. This stuff is about as easy to verify as what we find in Harry Potter and Disney animations. How can we possibly separate fact, if any, from the vivid imaginations of the gospel writers? Oh, you just have to have faith that it's true is not verification. Some scholars claim that the gospels are based on eyewitness reports or on reliable oral tradition. As the stories told and retold countless times for 40 years could be trusted. Moreover, there are so many alarming, irrational, nasty teachings attributed to Jesus. Christians could only hope that the gospels are not verifiable. I have a whole series of videos just on that, things we wish Jesus hadn't said. The bottom line, there is not a single Jesus deed or teaching in the Gospels that can be verified. That is knockout punch number six. The real Jesus, if there was one, is irretrievable and unknowable.